What is going on guys? My name is Robert. I'm coming to you from my Airbnb rental property today and I want to share some facts. I just want to shed some light on the real estate industry and how anyone can start and it's literally one of the sim most simple things and it's one of the most effective ways to you know, add to your income streams. Having just one income stream isn't going to do it. You need multiple income streams and there's so many industries out there and real estate is by far one of the easiest industries to get involved with. The whole concept wrapped around real estate, you want to start small, you want to start with a property that you can generate monthly income off of, of completely hands off passive income. You want to gradually over time get to the level of owning maybe an apartment complex, maybe even get to a large office building and rent out multiple office spaces. How do you start? Let's say you know you're young, you don't have all that money, you don't really have a lot of cash to start buying properties up and whatnot. Well, how do you start? And like I said, guys, the whole concept is to start small and gradually build your way up. I found this on Instagram. I thought it was really cool. I want to share it with you guys. So this pretty much sums up the entire concept of real estate across the board. So the idea is to start small and learn new skills and do all the work yourself. And that's sort of where I'm at right now with this Airbnb. You know, it's my first income property and it's a small home. You know, it's a thousand three hundred square feet, two bedrooms, one bathroom you know, living two living rooms and a kitchen. It's not like a great big property. And I'm taking full advantage of the Airbnb opportunity within this property, although it is probably the smallest home you can acquire. I'm generating more than this property would from a traditional form of rental income, which I've made a video talking about how Airbnb is a very lucrative business. And I'll link that up here, the card, click it, you know, wherever it's at. Now I made a video talking about it, like I said, and the traditional form of real estate is you have you know, a, a single family home and you rent it out for two years at a time. I mean, however long the lease agreement is, this property was renting out for 800 a month. And with the Airbnb business model, I'm in here generating thousands of dollars a month off a property that would otherwise be generating 800 a month tops. Once you have cash flow in real estate, you can then move into a bigger and better property. So the next property on this infographics post is a bigger home. So essentially you start with a small home, literally this home, this home is super small. Like I said, guys, it's really nice and cozy. You move to a bigger property that will generate you more income on top of that. So the more amenities, the more you offer, the more income you can generate on a monthly basis. So the more the property is valued, you can rent it out for more, essentially that's what I'm saying. At this level, you're probably gonna be the one doing all the work yourself because you don't want to cut into the profits that you're making, right? If you're paying somebody, if you're outsourcing work at this level, you're probably not gonna be generating, you know, you're not, you're not gonna be taking home as much money as you would want to. Once you get to a level, let's say you have multiple of these mid-sized homes, you can then scale to a apartment complex. So the idea is to keep snowballing this and from one, you know, that's a start, that's a great start, but you never wanna stop there. Once you have that first income property, you want to scale, you want to move forward with your business model and you always want to grow. So the more the merrier, I guess, you know, anything that's out there that you can get your hands on, go for it. Now I'm gonna make a series of videos talking about how someone like myself, 21 years old, not the most cash in the world, not the highest credit score, how I landed on this property and how I'm able to generate thousands of dollars a month. It's actually a really amazing opportunity for a lot of people out there that have taken advantage of it across the world. For those of you that are curious, this is probably one of the best ways to start in real estate. And if you've been thinking about it, you know, I, I've always thought, you know, hey, I'll get in real estate some way or another. For those of you that are trying to buy apartment complexes and you're looking for ways to generate cash flow, this is definitely one of them. And that opportunity is definitely out there for everyone to take advantage of. If you want to get your cash flow up, if you want to start adding to your income streams, regardless of how many you have, this is definitely something that anyone can act on and you'll see results instantly. So as you guys can see here, the idea is to start small and slowly over time, get to the point where you can outsource your work and you can have a full team of people working for you and you can afford to do that and you can afford to pay them. And that is definitely what I'm working on right now. For those of you who want to keep up with me, just watch my journey. This is my first property and my goal for next year for 2019 is to have six of these houses generating me income. Thank you guys so much once again for tuning in for my video. Be sure to hit the notification bell, like the video, share it with whoever you think could use this information. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you and give you my input on whatever is going on. So thank you guys once again for sticking around. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. That outro though.